Hello and welcome to Chrome Computing. In this video, we'll be looking at a default image editor on your Chromebook. It's changed recently, so it's slightly different. It still does exactly the same thing, but it's slightly changed. So let's have a look what's changed and how it now works. So I've downloaded a uh, image. I just to open up the image editor, you just simply open up an image and there it brings up the image editor. So the difference is it looks a bit different. These options, the icons have changed and they used to be down the bottom here, but now they're up here at the top. Um, you don't have the overwrite option anymore here, but you do have a way of using a different file name later, which I'll show you. So there's your picture. You've got the information there. If you click on that, it shows you the size of the file and the resolution of the file and the data is modified. You've got a trash cam there, which will delete the file. You can zoom in, zoom out that. And then this here is the crop and rotate tool. So if you click on that and you can rotate like that, and also crop. Now the crop, you can either do it yourself like that, just drag down to the size you want and then drag the image to what part you want to crop. Or you can use these new features here, which I don't believe it used to be, used to be there. And that's the original. You could do square, 16.9, so on. And then if you don't want to use it, just reset. If you do press done, obviously it will change it for you. So just leave that as it is. Then the next one here is the rescale. And rescale is so you can change the size of the image. This padlock here will mean if you change the width, it will also change the height so it keeps the same dimensions, which sometimes it's useful. It depends what you're doing. So if you change that to 1,200, you can see it will automatically change the height as well. And to use that, then you just simply press the enter key like that. And then it's done that for you. Uh, if we undo that just for now and do resize again or rescale, if you take off the padlock and put 1200, it would then leave the height for whatever you decide to choose. So you could change it to 1000. And if you press the tab key, the tab key will show you how it will look. So you put in 600 there, but it's not showing you how it will look. So if you press tab and it will show you what it will look like. And then you can either save or discard, edit, so discard for now. And then this one here is lighting and filters. Here you can mess about with the exposure, contrast, and saturation. Make it black and white, almost. Okay, now in relation to this, if you save this, what that would do, it would then save over right over the original file, which is what you may not want it to do. So to not do that, instead of clicking save, just click on the drop down box here and then do save as, and then it will give you the option of what you want to save it as and where you want to save it as well. So you could just put image and save, and then you will see your original one still there, and that new one is there. The thing what you will see, which is strange, but you can deal with that. The original image there, it's only five, 555 kilobytes. The new image is now 2.2 megabytes. Um, why that is when you consider it's actually a smaller image. Let's shrink it down. Let's have a look. Because then you would expect it to be, save as, call it image two, download folder. Yeah, so that's made it smaller, that would make sense. So obviously the changes we made to that one just increased the size a bit. And 
that's it. That's how you use it. These three dots here allow you to print, open. I assume would just give you your file menu, which it does, so you can open up a different image, which I actually quite like that, actually, because one thing I with the old version, if you go like use that, it doesn't always necessarily go in order to what the next image is, and you might not want the next image. So instead of having to close it down and look for a new image, now you can use that and do open, which I quite like that. And then you can have a look in different, you could go to your Google Drive, for example, and look at different areas. So yeah, no, that's all good. So I hope you liked the video. If you did, please like below and subscribe to the channel for future videos.